Hi there, what is up Leo? This is Kim, here to do a reading for you for your next 48 hours. This is my fourth time trying to do your reading. Um, it's, it's, there's been delays, I guess you could say, and, and it might have to do with your um, situation. The messages that are coming back from all of these ones that I have been doing that I had to stop and redo, the message seemed to be like you were healing from something and that you haven't moved forward from a, to a new beginning quite yet because there's still something that you're healing and you're being asked to, um, or you're being, I'm being told to let you know that um, it's okay that progress like you don't have to have um a finish line to to get to like it's not like that and this healing is unique and, and on everybody's level and just you need to know and trust that when you move forward that that is going to be the right time for you sorry if my sound kind of got crazy i don't know why but it's just like randomly it will just disconnect my bluetooth for no reason for no reason Oh, good. When I see the blessings card in reverse, Leo, it's blessings that are unexpected. So these are unexpected blessings coming in for you. It's part of this change and it's, I feel like it's part of this new energy here. You know, instead of being like, oh, everything's going to turn out not so good. No, no, no. There's some really good things coming in with this blessings. I like this. So this, this, by the way, spellcasting deck. So we have um, blessings coming in for you, Leo. Blessings coming in for you. Talent. Of course, but of course, you need to trust in, uh, okay, this might be trust in your talent, trust in the hits that you're getting. Um, just say them. Just say them. There's nothing to worry about. There's no one that's going to judge you. <laughs> your talent is your talent. Um, there's no one that's going to judge you like you could judge yourself, right? You're your worst critic is what I'm trying to say. And um, you have to be critical of yourself for you to start seeing tons of people being critical of you. And it is kind of, people are kind of judgy. But but that's just a, an example of how sick that the society self-esteem is. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. So we're making a complete, we're doing a complete 180 when it comes to um, self-esteem here and blessings coming in for you. So I really love that. And you need to trust your talent, trust your skills, trust your ability. I feel like there might be more messages out there that you have for some people um, out there. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you're keeping some things to yourself. I don't know. I'm getting the word embarrassment <laughs> of something, of something. And maybe it's like information that you're getting that you're like, okay, I feel like I'm supposed to share this with this person, but they're a complete stranger. <laughs> and that's kind of, you know, strange to me or something. Um, that has definitely happened to me before. And I have not said anything. <laughs> so I feel the same way. It's like, um, sometimes it's like, okay, I trust my talent, but do I trust it enough to tell a stranger something to pass a message. You need to trust yourself, trust yourself, but it's easier said than done. Trust your abilities. Know that your abilities are from the master to Kaushik records. So it's from mastery, whatever you're asking, whatever talent you're seeking or whatever you're wanting, whatever you're wanting to create. Wow. <laughs> Woo Big creation. Look at this. A change in the wind. <sighs> chaos and conflict your creation a change in the wind why chaos and conflict oh because you're not who you used to be um okay you're not who you used to be you used to be this zebra always striving for balance so kind of unbalanced always striving for balance now you're like a giraffe, able to see from a higher perspective and able to see that some of this conflict isn't yours to even get into. It's just when people want to fight with you, it's it's them fighting with themselves. Oh. 
So a bigger perspective, blessings, a change in the wind. You know what? Let's, and then yang, that's the divine um, masculine energy. And maybe this is about balancing out your feminine and your masculine energy. What? Well, Ten of cups. All right. So <clears throat> I would say don't get involved with chaos and conflict. This is a three, two, and this is a one, so you are powerful. A new beginning and a very powerful you. All right, spirit, why is chaos and conflict here? Because um, the impossible is happening. Oh, because you're healing. <laughs> because you're healing. Because you have healed so much on the formless realm that your angels are saying, oh my goodness, we're about, it's all in divine timing. We will help people get along. So the people that you didn't get along with or whoever is causing this conflict and chaos, don't worry. They can't touch you. This is protection. That is your angel protection. And this is the four of swords here. As long as you're healing and staying out of the conflict and chaos, you're protected it is what it feels like. Um, Sagittarius energy here. Sometimes it is about balancing hot and cold. People getting along that just don't usually. But it's so strange, isn't it? That a change in the wind and then it's so it's like this is the change. You need to see this with a higher perspective. It's, it's crazy. Those are pretty much the only two in that deck that have zebras and that's cool. Zebras. So what, what is Yang for? Why is the divine masculine here? Oh... A <laughs> death. Okay, so what I think that that's meaning is, I think that that's meaning it's time for the divine feminine to step into your life for a change, which means it is about time for you to sit back and receive huge transformation, huge healing, king of wands on the bottom. That is your energy, Leo. Wow. Scorpio, Scorpio season ends 21st. Um, there's just complete transformation in, in uh, what you create, how you create it, and um, the blessings that you receive back. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Transformation, change. I mean, you know, most tarot readers really like the death card because it, it, it's just that metamorphosis, you know, uh, from caterpillar to butterfly is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is like, yeah, there is change and transformation coming, but you have help. You are not alone. And don't worry. If you stay in the middle of a storm, if you stay at the eye, you'll be in the calm spot and you'll be the one that's composed. And then it will be your job to help compose other people. All right. All right. I'm getting answers. Good. Okay. I felt like in your first few readings that I did, I just wasn't getting... And maybe I needed to, okay, maybe that was it. Maybe I didn't ask with good intent, like not good intention. I mean, maybe I didn't ask with specific intention, um, but it feels like when I got specific, like that's talking to me now, finally. All right, let me get some of these. I'm feeling really pulled to pull these. This is um, Sacred Signs and Symbols. So for Leo, let's get some cards for Leo from the Sacred Signs and Symbols. Camera, Nostalgia, Replay, Old Pictures. Old Pictures. Leather Belt, Tied Down, Restricted, or Boundaries. Hmm, might be, a, this might be a diet too, by the way. I know that usually this is like eight of swords, kind of um, like you're in your head, you're feeling guilty of regarding something, but I don't think so for everybody. I think this is actually meaning a restricted diet for some people, which would be different to you. All right. Maybe less sugar or something like that, or saturated fats. <laughs> Okay, so aloe vera, healing, soothing relief, healing the masculine in you. Aloe vera, healing with the divine feminine. Donkey, <laughs> reluctant or stubborn. 
reluctant. And maybe it's to change. I mean, your fixed sign, maybe it's reluctant to change here. There is uh, armored on the bottom, guarded, defensive, or stoic. All right, so Leo, let's find out what this is all about and let's pull the Celtic cross. All right, energies please for Leo. Next 48 hours. The issue or the situation. You have a victory, but you're not celebrating with anybody. <laughs> I don't even know if you're celebrating. I don't know if you're telling anybody exactly how um, victorious you are right now at this moment. Look, it's a win, but it feels like a bittersweet victory. I won't lie. It feels like a bittersweet victory, and it feels like you don't want attention here um, or notoriety, but it feels like you're going to get it. Six of Wands could be talking about Leo, your energy. So why don't we feel victorious, Leo? That's the main question is, what is making you not feel victorious? And is it because we're stubborn or reluctant to make the next step? Or are we simply waiting for our healing to complete, you know, a healing? What is the challenge here? What's the challenge for Leo? What's the challenge? Page of Wands. Page of Wands. You really want good news. You want good news first before you have to deal with anything else. <laughs> you want the good news. Um, it's like needing to be on a positive roll. Once you get going, it's easier to keep it going, right? And it's gaining momentum. This is passionate new beginnings. I feel like you're wanting to start something new. Um, and, and I feel like you're looking for some passion too in your life. Page of Wands, looking for the passion. Um, could be a child fire sign or maybe, um, I don't know, something really creative here that you're, maybe you're about to embark or about to do. Knight of Wands um, in the reverse as to why we are not really celebrating. It's because we're still kicking ourselves for a poor judgment call. So maybe a lapse in judgment. <laughs> maybe, I mean, something, maybe we did something really silly once and or before. And the Knight of Wands in the universe is saying, yeah, there is a time when maybe we were reckless. Maybe we were taking too many risks. Um, and now the time has come to focus on the healing. And so therefore it's like, bam, it's going to stop everything in its tracks. Um this is your healing. This is your healing. The Knight of Wands might be Sagittarian energy, but don't get hung up on the signs. I just like telling you what signs um, are with each thing. So Knight of Wands here as an underlying feeling as to why you're not celebrating here is possibly somebody else letting you down. Somebody else's poor decisions that ended up affecting you. Um... I feel like that's holding on to some bitterness and we need to turn that Knight of Wands in the up, upright. Okay. Um, so where's the passion, Leo? Where's the passion? Where's the passion? That's the challenge. The passion is the passion is the challenge. You don't want to fight. You don't want to fight. You feel like it's unhealthy. This fighting, it's unhealthy. Past energy for Leo. Past energy for Leona. Hit into the Knight of Wands. Page of Pentacles. The reverse. It may have not been that great with your investments in the past. It may have not been that great with money in the past. Or this could have been... I mean, to me, the Page of Pentacles in reverse is... Um, it's like using old ways to try to... Um, achieve something and it's not so I feel like you tried an old method it was outdated it didn't bring you the investment results that you wanted and that is past energy though so I don't think we should dwell on it there is a lot of kid energy here that could be um earth sign child too or just a really immature earth sign 
that could be represented by this Knight of Wands in reverse. It's somebody that comes in and out of your life that's just kind of, someone from the past is kind of immature. It could be that too. The now moment for Leo. What's the now moment looking like for Leos? I like how you're ending up this way <laughs> because it's up or down. It's neither, you know. Of course, I'm going to read it as good because it's truly covering up the the Knight of Wands. They're wanting you do not focus on the things that we messed up on. Do not focus on the lapse of judgment or poor judgment. You can't really blame yourself for anything when you um, mess up. You're still doing what what you, you're still working with what you know. You know what I mean? So. You're still trying. So you're trying to make something reciprocal and you're trying to make up for maybe a bad judgment call in the past um, because something needs to be reciprocal. You feel like you're not giving enough to something or or getting enough. It's just something off balance with that. But it is it is um, resolving. Maybe an Aquarius in this issue because the star, I'm feeling like pulling that star to that. Um, Six of Pentacles might be Virgo energy too. Giving more and service to others. Now that I thought of Virgo energy being with the Six of Pentacles, yeah, Virgo um, energy is really, uh, you know, service to others, big time. Near future energy, near future energy. So look, I look at the Six of Pentacles as success because I look at it as the ability to give generously. King of Wands here, I'm thinking this is more in the upright, um, the way that it landed. There's you, that's Leo, that is Leo energy all the way. You're inspiring, you're the leader, you finish first. <laughs> You've been through lots of things, lots of things. The King of Wands is um, experienced, knows how to build things, um, and knows when to take action and how to take action. The only thing that's stopping this King of Wands from doing, uh, from getting, you know, the most out of it is, would be memories and dwelling on things that, you know, the past, the things we can't change. So radical acceptance is needed sometimes there, Leo. So how do you feel? How do you feel? Oh, good. You feel the Ace of Pentacles. Look, you feel the pull. I don't know if it's all positive, but you feel the pull, okay? So either you're grasping onto a pentacle because you're afraid it's going to leave, or you're holding it like that. Don't grasp too tightly onto, um, like, money, uh, financial things, because I think right now the energy is so different. I just feel like... Um, Doing like if you do the best that you can and you're authentically yourself, you're gonna succeed. Uh, you see, the B up there is sweet results, sweet results await Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> um, and I want to say, make sure your love for money or possession or something here is not covering up the love for yourself or any issues like in a void that we're trying to fill. Make sure we're not filling something with money that can't be like, you know what I mean? Okay. In the environment, in the environment, and I knew this was happening. Five of Wands energy. So, okay, there is competition. Um, This might be like rehearsing. Isn't that weird? I've never gotten that energy before. But rehearsing? Something may look like it's a rehearse. Some people are really, really wanting to argue and start arguments with you. And I don't feel like you're wanting to do that at all. Hopes or fears. But as far as being competitive, I think that you're willing to have healthy competition here or healthy competitiveness. The three of wands in the reverse is something you just don't see coming. And it may be because you're focused on whatever it is that the person's doing. But I always see the three of wands as a very positive card, especially if it's in the reverse. It's like a surprise. So something that you maybe don't see coming. Leo, the suspense is killing me. What is the outcome here for Leo? Let's 
the outcome. Or what's it looking like for Leo? Oh my gosh, that's so many. <laughs> we'll take them all though because they're wanting you to get it. They're wanting you to get this message. Queen of Pentacles. All right, guys. All right, all right. So it's, uh, I feel like it's regarding your creation. Since this is you, this is King of Wands, this is you. The Four of Wands is a celebration. It is um, a milestone met, possibly the marriage card. It may be the marriage between you and aligning with higher higher self, right? So the Four of Wands is an extremely good card. It's success. I'm going to put this one down here and then put the outcome up there on the top. Ten of Swords. Goodness, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Ugh. And the Emperor. That could be Aries. This could be Aries. This could be Aquarius. This could be Sagittarius. Something is having a completion. Okay. Something's having a completion. You're having like a rebirth. It may be in spirituality too here. The Ten of Wands is like, oh my goodness, I'm so exhausted. I can't be any more exhausted. In fact, I, I'm thinking with that imagery, it's like, look, you may have made a careless decision, but you had to fall before you had a rebirth. You had to actually fall rock bottom. <laughs> and I think that's what happened. As, as I mean, putting it in as nice as I can is the strain got too tough. It got too much. And when you hit your bottom... You turn spiritual and there you go. There's your going to, towards your spirit side and choosing love over everything with the emperor and, and this upright is like, that's going to get you everywhere. That will get you where you need to go. Um, don't worry about things that we have done wrong in the past. Don't worry about that stuff. Worry about how you proceed, how you move forward. No, don't even worry. Nothing happens with worry. It doesn't It doesn't do a thing to help you. All right. Well, that is an interesting reading. That's an interesting reading. The emperor it ends up being the one in control, like, of everything. You know what I mean? So you're headed towards the emperor. It's like you're going from the king of wands to the emperor. You're building an empire for yourself. It feels like family legacy. Something's going to work out really well. You'll get through this. You may be barking up the wrong tree. A, perspec a perspective shift is needed. So um, seeing things in a different way. Needing to see something a little bit different. Okay, what do they need to shift their perception about? What is this about? <laughs> See, past past uh, feelings of regret. So this this is about if you're okay. It says you're barking up the wrong tree. Meaning, if you're turning towards feeling guilt, remorse, nerves, worry. Confession, coming clean, apology, integrity is needed. It says sweating like a sinner in church. Nineteen. There's a new <laughs> new beginning that is wanting to happen because this guilt and remorse is not going to get you forward. All right. What's the outcome going to be? What's the outcome going to be? Stomping grounds. Origin, nostalgia, memories, tradition, a tribute where you may visit your stomping grounds. And it may be to mend something. It might be to mend something, Leo. That's kind of what I'm feeling for it. Okay, let's get another card for them from this uh, Southern Oracle, by the way. <laughs> your stomping grounds. It says you'll get there if uh, your treasured objective. I love that. Okay, the main reason, your treasured objective, your king of wands. Um, what is crossing it is simply, I feel like, wow, look at that. Smooth sailing, assistance, determination, purpose. If the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, I, I promise you, I promise you, there is something really important about back where you're from. And 
and yeah, it might be resolving something. There may be something that's been being resolved um, in the process, but it's it feels like you're mending. It feels like you're mending and you're growing. You're allowing yourself to become vulnerable by choosing love instead of fear to act. And it's a rebirth because the old you, I don't feel, would have made these decisions. 25, three sheets to the wind. It may have to do with past judgment calls on with alcohol or drugs or partying or trying, like I said, to fill to fill a void with addiction sometimes. So it says blowing off steam, rebellion, overindulgence, merriment, or escape. Three sheets to the wind. Careful. <laughs> and I feel like um, the message to not procrastinate is there. And number nine, number nine, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Self-love, relaxation, regeneration, the, satiet the satiety within and replenishment. All right, let's get, um, let's get some more cards. Let's get um, something from the Moonology Oracle for Leo, for Leo, oops. Last quarter moon in Aries, work through your feelings. Yeah, what's holding you back? Work through your feelings. And there, new moon in Taurus, know your worth. Know your worth. You are the emperor. You have all control here. You have more control than you think. Work through your feelings. Embrace the flow of life, full moon in Gemini. And a need to lighten up, last quarter moon in Leo. Lighten up. Lighten up and be real. You'll have assistance. You will have assistance. Everything's going to be just fine. Something might need your attention. Something back home might need to be fixed. Whatever it is, it's all right. Like, it's all right. I, it's, I promise promise it's all right personal riches goodness guys on the pinnacle too small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on the way finances could improve dramatically but avoid get rich thing uh, schemes perseverance you may feel like you're getting nowhere but there are wonderful changes ahead don't give up yes leo don't give up and your intuition trust your intuition it is a great time to learn a new skill Change careers or invest money. That's what I've been saying. Cryptocurrency. Let's be. <laughs> no, you don't have to take. <laughs> don't take my advice just for that. But like uh, manifestations, a bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes can manifest right before your eyes. We're going to end it on that note. I might even title it from that note. All right. Thanks, Leo. Sending you love and light.